I want to read to you a very important message by the visionary Ivan from the 20th of October 2023, two days ago. Dear children, today I invite you to pray for peace. At this time peace is threatened in a special way and I ask you to renew fasting and prayer in your families and to encourage others to pray for peace. Dear children, I want you to understand the seriousness of the situation and that much of what will happen depends on your prayer and perseverance. Dear children, I am with you and I invite you to seriously start praying and fasting. Thank you for having responded to my call. Let's go through the message phrase by phrase. Dear children, today I want to I invite you to pray for peace. You know, you see it in Israel, you see it in Ukraine, you see it in your personal lives. So much unpeace. As in the little, as in the big, you know. This world seems upside down. But, you know, Our Lady says, prayer and, pe um, prayer and fasting can prevent wars, you know. That's in the second phrase, at this time peace is threatened in a special way and I ask you to renew fasting and prayer in your families and to encourage others to pray for peace. You see, prayer and fasting can prevent wars, you know. Very important that we all start to take fasting as well serious again, me the first, you know. Wednesdays and Fridays at least on bread and water. And you will see a lot of things will happen, you know. I did two times the 40 days of fasting and so many things changed in my life, you know. So I urge you, you know, this is very important. If not, Our Lady wouldn't say, at this time peace is threatened in a special way, you know. It's an urgent message, an important message, an extraordinary message. And how can we prevent it? I ask you to renew fasting and prayer in your families. And that means also to, to teach it to your children, to your wife, to your spouse, you know and to encourage others to pray for peace as well. Very important, you know, where you can tell people pray for peace. Because this is an extraordinary, extraordinary situation. I've been living in Israel this, and I've been in, in Israel this year in, in um, I think, March, April. And there was already so much tension in the country, you know. So it's so important. It's so important to pray for peace, you know. We, we all said it's ready to explode over there, you know. And there it is. It's, a, it's an explosion of violence we saw on the 7th of October. And we see that explosion of violence now around the world, you know. So it's very, very important to pray for peace and to encourage others to pray for peace as well. Dear children, I want you to understand the seriousness of the situation. Again, you know, she's stressing it again, how serious the situation is. And we all, we all have to make an extra effort to pray for peace, you know. Encourage others to pray for peace, as she said. Maybe also encourage others to fast where you have an open ear. And that much of what will happen depends on your prayer and perseverance, you know. So first of all, prayer and continue to pray from the heart, you know. Very, 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 very important. And again, she's stressing fasting. Dear children, in the next phrase, I am with you and then I invite you to serious, seriously start praying and fasting. Again, what I said, me too, the first one, to see you this fast again on Wednesday and Friday. At least, you know. So she, she's stressing it three times. How, how serious the situation is. Yeah. But she also says, I'm with you, you know. What you can do when, 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 when you know, when you, when you are not really into it, you can say, Our Lady, please fill up 
my intention, where I was not strong enough, and where, where I didn't persevere in my fasting, in my prayers, you know, fill it up the gaps. You know, we all have gaps when we are more lighted, hearted, hearted and, and not so concentrated on, 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 on praying and fasting, you know. That's like my spiritual guide, she said. You can also ask Our Lady to fill up, to make it more um, from the heart, more concentrated our prayers, that she's filling up the gaps, yeah. And always the key is humility. Look, the Queen of Heaven is saying at the end, Thank you for having responded to my call. But she also says in that phrase before, so much of what will happen depends on your prayer and perseverance and fasting, what she says in the next phrase. Yeah? So I urge you again here from Metrogoy, we are looking on Apparition Hill. It's Sunday morning to pray, to fast and persevere in prayer. As she said, to to um, encourage others to pray for peace as well, where you can, you know, and in groups, pray in groups as well, because like where two and three are praying together, God is listening, you know, it's a spiritual law. And then we will see, you know, the sun is rising here right now, and then we will see the sun rising. We are entering into a, into a, into a good phase. It's the thousand year, reign of thousand years of peace, but we are going through the birth banks and birth con contractions, no? Banks, I don't know if you say that in English. Birth contractions. And it, we can lessen it, these contractions and the violence of the contractions through our prayer, fasting and perseverance, you know? So I, again, this is an extraordinary, extraordinary important message through Ivan by Our Lady on from the 20th of October, that we all fast, pray in this serious situation for peace in the world. And I would like to leave you a bit again at the end, like with the peace here in Medjugorje on and the view on Apparition Hill. And that's what we all want. We want to have that peace around the world. And we can do it. It depends on us urge others to pray the rosary, maybe in groups, make prayer groups. There's so many ways to do it, to pray it in the car when you go to, to work, you know, when you go somewhere, take the rosary with you. And as John Paul II said, don't be ashamed to pray the rosary in public. We have to gain back, we have to evangelize again, we have to bring peace back to the world. And there's only one way to do it. And we also have to pray that, that the Palestinians, the Muslim people and the Jewish people discover the beauty of Christ and his life-changing message. We all have to pray for that, yeah? Because you experienced it in your life, what Jesus did in your life. And we can pray. It's so powerful to pray. That's what Our Lady always stresses here in Medjugorje. Pray, pray, pray. And this is an extraordinary message because she's like emphasizing three times on, on the seriousness of the situation which we have right now in the Middle East, in the Ukraine. And you see it all over the world spreading now, violence in, in demonstrations. There was a killing in, 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 in France of, of, a, of, a t of a teacher by a Muslim. There were, were two Swedish people killed in, in, in Belgium. Um, when there was the, the football game between Sweden and Belgium outside the stadium, two Swedish fans were killed, you know. So please, again, I urge you to pray for peace, to take fasting again seriously. I'm the first one, I did the same thing. Maybe we relax on fasting, but we all have to do that again in that special situation right now in the world. And. Um, what can I say? Please pray for me. I pray for you here in Medjugorje and have a joyful, beautiful day, you know. Keep the joy. That's very important because we have to be the light to the world. That's what Christ says in the Bible. Don't be fearful. Fear is not from God. Now you can see also it's a stress test for your faith, you know. Be consecrated to our, consecrate yourself and your family to Our Lady, to Jesus and walk in the Holy Spirit in the divine will and you will transmit that joy and peace which comes by walking in the divine will. You will transmit it to other people and your prayer will be more powerful. Yeah. 
So God bless you all from Medjugorje and have a beautiful Sunday wherever you are around the world.